Hey guys, it's about beer 30. Let's take a walk into the kitchen and see what's in the fridge today. Hey everybody, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews. Today we're going to do with another one of these Paul Anner beers. Uh, they were sent to me uh, by Paul Anner and uh, this is their original Munich Lager. And they have, uh, they call it uh, Paul Anner Original Munchner or Munchner, M-U-N-C-H-N-E-R, but it is their, in, in, in English, Original Munich Lager. It's not a big beer, guys. Coming in at 4.9%. Uh, a very easy drinking beer, more than likely. Uh, don't know if I've ever had this particular version. I've done several different versions uh, uh, of their beers. Uh, and they are always tasty for what they are. Now, if you're expecting a big hot bomb out of this, you've bought the wrong beer. Guys, uh, this is a beer that has been being brewed for hundreds of years. These guys uh, over in Germany have been doing these beers for a long, 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 long time. Uh, and uh, the little note they sent with it says here, and of course they're canning their beers now where they were only available in bottles before now. Uh, so the last package I got had uh, canned beers in it instead of the bottled beers, and uh, which makes it easier if you're going to somewhere where they don't like glass, a beach or a pool or or somewhere like that where if you drop it it's going to bust and make a big mess for a lot of people that are barefooted around that area so uh, thumbs up for them for doing that and just remember this guys when they put them in the cans that's a mini keg there's no light getting into it no way the beer is going to skunk up or do anything crazy uh, so it's 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 good it's a win-win if you're going camping or something where you can pack it in and pack it out and don't have to worry about stuff breaking so it's a good thing I used to be anti-can uh, and uh, over the last uh, four or five years uh, I have did the flip on that uh, I like when they put uh, beers in cans now they're using liners in the cans and all that stuff you're not getting usually a metallic taste or anything to it so uh, it's an improvement in my humble, honest opinion. So, let me read you what they said here. The original Munich Lager is a true classic with a clear and bright gold sparkling hue, crowned by a pure white head, a beer which always goes down smoothly, mild, elegant malts, with a hint of sweetness and a soft hint of hops in the back note. This Munich beer is ideal for company spare ribs and spicy dishes. Adhering, <coughs> adhering to the range of uh, requires a true mastery uh, brewing process and Polliner offers a wide array of beer styles all created using a handful of select high quality ingredients to brew masters that a legendary brewer use craftsmanship and brewing methods passed down by generations of brew masters before them and perfected over hundreds of years. This allows them to create bold and unique flavors that appeal to all types of taste palettes while still adhering to the same laws and principles their predecessors have followed for centuries. And they say, this is the first in the innovation of exciting events to come to Paul Anna this year, being the cans. Uh, we continue to be focused on offering our customers the very finest and high, highest quality beer and outstanding experience. And guys, uh, if you've never tried one of these and you're a macro lager, Bud Miller, Coors fan, uh, you ought to try one of these. I mean, it's going to have a lot of tasty, crisp qualities to it. Uh, no adjuncts or fillers or rice or corn or any of that crap that the American brewer is in there to save money. Uh, so, you know, if you haven't, do it. Pick one of them up. Pick a six pack up. Give it a try. And now the old bottles were in 12 ounce. And now they, they're canning it in 16. So you get more bang for your buck on top of that. 
but you know it is a little more pricier than buying a, a case of Budweiser or Miller Coors for fifteen dollars. You're going to probably pay between ten and fifteen for a six pack of these because it's coming from Germany. A little bit of transit cost in there coming uh, coming over here and coming across the pond and everything. So. We're going to try this and give it a whirl. It's probably not something that I would run out and purchase because I'm not a big lager drinker anymore. But I am more than happy and pleased that I've got this to give it a whirl and give it a, uh, a try for you guys. I'm sure it's a quality beer. A very top-notch lawnmower beer, if you will. And I don't say that being disrespectful. I say that for a lot of beers that are under 5%. Uh, session beers, as I call them. Where you can drink several of them and not be too inebriated. So, that's where we're going to leave this. Uh, we'll jump over to Untapped to see if there's anything else we need to talk about. They got the exact same thing that's written here. 4.9%, 20 IBUs. Very low bitterness. Very easy drinking. And I'm expecting this to be a very tasty, crisp, clean, refreshing beer, guys. So, and now that they're canning it, they've got the date on it. And uh, it says January 22nd of 2019 and they're giving it a year shelf life to me that's a little much for a lager uh, but they know more about it than I do they've been doing it I ain't been around for centuries I may look like it but these guys have been doing it for a long 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 time so let's pop the top on this big 16 ounce can and get it into my Pilsner lager glass which I don't bring out very often and I'm not going to pour it too aggressive because I'm sure this is probably going to generate a decent enough head. If it don't, we'll kick it up on the back end. So let's... We might even get every bit of it into the glass. Look at that. Perfect. Perfect. Good looking beer. Big full glass of beer. Oh yeah. 4.9%. It's almost at the 5% mark. Very light golden color. A lot of bubbles streaming up. Very clear. Very clear beer. Uh, about a half a finger head on that unaggressive pour. To the nose we go. Very clean. A little bit of grassiness in there. A little grain. Nice sweetness to it. Outstanding quality on this beer, guys. No junk in the trunk. I mean, they're not using any kind of fillers or adjuncts to give it head. Or, I mean, it's the four ingredients. Water, barley, hops, yeast. It's some four ingredients. That's all you need for beer. You don't need to throw any other press of that crap in there. Especially when you're making this style of beer. So, uh, I'm sure it's going to be very tasty. Cheers. Awesome. This beer would go well with just about any dish you want to pair it with. Any kind of meat, any kind of food. Of course, wouldn't want to have it with ice cream. You wouldn't want to have it with chocolate cake. Uh, there are a lot of other beers that go well with some of those dishes, but any kind of meat dish, any any dinner, pizza, tacos, anything, anything. Very, very compatible with most dishes that you would try this beer with. Just like a lot of the regular lagers, the micro lagers and stuff, you can drink those with just about anything. This is the same thing, but you're getting quality instead of a lot of rice, corn, and adjuncts and fillers. Very crisp, very clean, no alcohol taste whatsoever. Crisp, clean, refreshing. I'm sure they're using European hops for this style of beer. The Saws, Goldings, Tetanang, uh, a lot of the lower uh, hop profile hops. Uh, not like what we typically want as Americans, over the top, everything. Very tasty. Uh, it's exactly what I thought it would be and uh, 
very excellent well-made beer so let's sip on this for a little bit and we'll come back and see where it ends up as an impressive beer for what it is like i said if you're expecting a hot bomb or, or something other than a very clear crisp refreshing munich lager you brought the wrong beer so let's sip on it and see what we see what we got all right guys i'm back a little bit left here very nice very crisp very refreshing well-made quality beer uh like i said alcohol is basically non-existent to me uh very sessionable a great lawnmower beer as i call these less than five percent beer session beers uh with quality made ingredients are the top notch these guys have been doing it for a long long time and this is one of the most popular beers in germany uh and, that, and it's that way for a reason. Uh, these guys make exceptionally well-made beers and have been doing it for hundreds of years. So, I got it figured out. No doubt about it. Not something that I would probably run out and purchase because it's not my style of beer. I don't drink a lot of lagers anymore. Uh, they don't have quite enough taste for this guy. But if you're a, a lager drinker, this when you look up a Munich lager, this picture of this beer should be right there beside that description so uh, that being said it's it's a very very tasty beer guys final joke very pleasant very very nice beer guys nine out of ten for me on this and I'm judging for what it is. It's not supposed to be a hot bomb or anything other than a very clear, clear crisp, refreshing, quality beer. And that's what it is. No off tastes or flavors or any off putting aromas or anything like that. Very nice beer. If you haven't tried that and you're a lager fan, you ought to try this. This, this is an exceptionally well made beer. And if you say, oh my god, you're crazy, it's a 10 beer, I would not argue with that one iota. Uh, dates on the bottom of the can very easy to read uh, the, the can on date and the best buy or before when you should have it by and they're giving it a year I think that's a little long but that's just my opinion they wouldn't do that if they didn't think it would be just as tasty year 8 10 12 months down the road so that being said you got my grade let's run over to beer advocate they say 3.73 which is kicking on the door to be a B plus but that is their B grade and over to untap they have it at 3.44 which is mm, I was I would in my grading that would be a B minus and I could not disagree more for that these guys that buy these beers and, and, and they're used to drinking hoppy beers or stouts or, or or stuff that's got a whole lot more taste and they post negative comments or bad grades for this beer I just don't understand that uh, judge it and grade it for what it is I mean uh, that's what I try to do guys uh, I really do most of the times uh, even though I tell you it's not something that I would probably purchase for myself it is an excellent beer uh, I just try to judge the beers on what they are yeah bottom line so with that being said if you've had this the Paul Adler original Munich lager let me know especially if you've had the new ones that's in the cans uh, very nice I don't find uh, anything different other than being in a can where the light can't get to it so it doesn't change any of the, the aromas or taste it's not skunking up because uh, it's in a bottle that light can get to so I do appreciate the breweries that are canning their stuff now instead of putting them in bottles many kegs guys gotta remember that when you go somewhere at a bar or a brew pub or a restaurant and you're getting a draft beer it's coming out of a keg a bigger keg this is a mini keg same difference exact same difference sir so that being said if you've had it guys uh let me know what you think it's a very tasty beer for the style that it is so till we meet again let's go see what's in the fridge